there's a couple of really bizarre cooling systems, basically air conditioning systems that I've seen um, on the internet, uh, one of them on YouTube actually, uh, that she won't find after a lot of digging around. So I thought I'll just sort of explain them to you because it's quite liable you mightn't come across them. Um, one of them has been developed in Austria, known as Solar Frost. It's also known as Icebook because that's what they call the unit. On their website, they get you to download a little thing and you spend a lot of time downloading a lot of stuff to see basically pretty much what they tell you anyway on the, on the web page regardless. Um, and it was sort of developed back in 95 by an Austrian bloke and it's sort of basically a very modified um, absorption cooling system and then they make a whole stack of them all together tightly and pack them like pages in a book. That's what they call the ice book because there's umpteen one behind the other. And basically it can run off of literally just being out in the sun like a solar panel. Uh, enough heat it'll get to run this absorption system off of the sun because this absorption system is by no means a normal system. It's a modified one. They reckon it is literally 30-fold, 30 30-fold 30 efficient uh, compared to normal propane fridges and whatnot. The other system I've seen is in operation in California and it basically looks like a bunch of giant vacuum tubes, like the old valves sort of a thing. It's these, you know, in the old style radios, it's these big vacuum tubes and he sits them all on the roof. And somehow it all works out that, yeah, that's some sort of a thing that causes air conditioning. It's a weird system, but it works well. Another one they are now doing commercially, I think it is in the Texas Museum of Aviation, I think. Um, don't know if that's in Fort Worth or where the heck it is really uh, but there are systems out there made by this mob they do make them and what it is it's an absorption cooling system and uh, I've had little aspirations to do similar things myself but it would cost a lot of money I was thinking more along the lines of running a propane fridge using the same method but actually using steam I think they use lithium bromide or something, but what it is, they get solar collectors. Not necessarily your dish one, um, as in like your solar cooker with the, the silver dish behind it, but they use the trough one where you can get like, it's, it's like half a pipe uh, cut and sort of facing up towards the sun. And then at your focal point, which is about your centre of where your pipe would have been before they chopped it in half, they have a pipe. Um, and they run lithium bromide, I think, I could be wrong, um, through it. If I'd done it, I'd be running water through it and then having the steam hit a little, the part in the propane fridge which the gas flame usually touches. Um, but they run some sort of, you know, fluid through which gets super hot. Uh, and then hits a heat exchanger in an absorption cooling system, much the same way as kerosene fridges and propane fridges. Uh, but instead of just cooling a little fridge, it actually has fans and it runs an entire air conditioning system. But they have like, I think it's about like four acres of these solar trough collectors. Um, going back to this heat exchanger system inside this absorption thing. And then where you get your little coal pipe in your propane fridge, you get the same sort of thing, but fans blowing on it, recirculating the air around the room to cool um, the air in the place. But there are strange technologies out there, many damn, damn expensive ones um, that are sort of, you know, almost real sort of next generation sort of hybrid prototype sort of a, a you know, scenario. Um, but these things exist. So... I just thought I'd tell you about them because they're, they're quite intriguing.